get this one off. But the Falcons have to call an early timeout with the play clock winding down to two and then to one. So we're going to take a quick break. You're listening to ValleyCentral.com. Falcons 17, Chargers 14. After the early timeout called from the Falcons, Eli Cruz and company takes the field. They're facing a Charger defense who's looking to shut this offense out, but that's going to be a tall task for this defense. Hand off to Eli Cruz up the left hash, still on his feet, fighting for every yard. Malzoli was the first guy who made the tackle. Second and eight after the pickup of two. Ball on the 47-yard line. Out of the gun is Cruz. Motion man looking back to pass. Fires down the field to Cologne. Had his man incomplete. He had touchdown written all over it. That was Brandon Cologne. It was wide open. Cruz just overshot his man. Pass falls incomplete. Third and eight coming up. Got to make the big play when it's given to you. Falcons let that one slip right through their fingertips. Facing a third and eight. Looking back to pass. Fires. And the pass falls incomplete. A drop pass. Alegria was the intended wide receiver. Hit him right between the numbers. Well, the Charger defense standing tall, forcing a punt as the special teams takes the field for both sides. Fourth and eight coming up. Falcons looking to punt this one away. High punt. Chargers field it. Looking to get across the 20, and he gets hit at the 19-yard line. Frankie Alemanza on the tackle. Good special teams coverage there from the Falcons. So they'll spot this one at the 19, first and 10. PSJ 21, San Benito 10, 5'11 in the third quarter. The Bears looking to keep their playoff hopes alive, just like these Chargers here tonight in Los Fresnos. 17 14, Falcons with the lead. Castillo out of the gun, quarterback keeper up the right hash. Takes it to the 24-yard line. Chris Gansino on the tackle. Updated score, Donna 28, La Jolla 7, Sherryland 42, La Jolla Palm View nothing. All those games are in the third quarter. Sherry, Sherryland looking to remain unbeaten as they'll have a date with the Edinburgh North Cougars. We'll get into that game later on as the game progresses. Hand off again up the middle. Chargers pick up a first down. Domingo Hernandez on the tackle. It looks like there's an injured Charger down on the field. So with 9.54 in the third quarter, we're going to take a quick break in the action. Falcons 17, Chargers 14.
I'll come back as the injured charger gets up on his own power. That was George Montelongo, the sophomore tackle, wearing the number 73, aided by a couple of Memorial trainers. First and 10, ball on the 31, Chargers with the football, looking to regain the lead. They trail by 3 with 9.48 in the third quarter. Castillo handoff to the right side, that's Derek Rodriguez on the carry. So it's safe to say that Harlingen has it wrapped up against Brownsville Porter, so it's the matchup that everyone's been waiting for, a pair of unbeaten teams district-wise with Harlingen South and Harlingen. That's next week's Bird Bowl as Harlingen South goes into that game 7-0 and overall. Harlingen 7-1, and both teams at 6-0 and in district play. That pass deep down the field to the right side, pass falls incomplete. Chargers going deep. That'll bring up a third and eight. Los Fresnos again sitting with a four and one record in district play. Looking to clinch that third spot in the playoffs. Meanwhile, Branzel Hanna sitting at three and two. They currently hold the fourth spot in the, in the playoffs. Right behind them are these Chargers with a three and three record. So with a Charger win and Hannah lost, the Chargers would leapfrog Hannah into the fourth spot so far. Quick pass, and it is, they're going to call it a catch. Danny Ramirez on the tackle. They'll mark this one just shy of the stick, so it'll bring up a fourth and one. Cologne back to return this punt. Falcons getting the football. They'll be going from left to right. Chargers punting the football on a fourth and one. And it'll take a charger roll. Ball's on the ground. And is it a live football? There's a rugby scrum on the far side of the field around the 13-yard line. But the Falcons will hold on to the football. La Feria 40, Progreso 6, they're at halftime. Donna 28, La Jolla 7, so Donna looking to grab the third spot potentially in the playoffs followed by Economides with the fourth spot then that big matchup between the Cougars and the Rattlers next week will very well determine who will be the winner of that district and a run play to the right side lots of running room there for the Falcons down to the 34 Eli Cruz on the carry Christian Vargas on the tackle, bringing down Eli Cruz. Not after he, he picked up a first down, they'll go to the running game again. Bounce it to the outside to the 35, and still on his feet. Looked like if he had nothing going, then he bounced it to the outside. Not one, but two times was Eli Cruz with some tough running. 7.55, third quarter. Falcons 17, Chargers 14. You're listening to ValleyCentral.com. 11 football games, live audio on this Friday night. Remember, friends, you can always tune in an hour after. Catch live video and audio on Thursdays and Saturdays. We are allowed to bring you video and audio. But on the Friday nights, we'll bring you live audio. Quarterback keeper for Cruz taking a big hit. Down to the 45. 62. So William Gajardo on the tackle, bringing down the quarterback. All on the 45-yard line. 7.33 in the third quarter. Here in Los Fresnos, Texas, a big matchup between the Chargers and the Falcons. 
Second and six, looking back to pass. Hit as he's thrown, throws on the money to Cologne. First down, Falcons. Put that one on a dime. And press is thrown from the quarterback, Victor Aguilar. First time we've said his name all tonight. He had a big game last week, dropped a couple of interceptions. Till he finally picked one off of Brandon Garza in last week's loss. To the Cardinals, hand off to the left side, down to the 30, down to the 25, to the 20. Balls all the way down to the 20, first and 10, Falcons with the football, looking to extend their lead. And it's a quarterback keeper full of the defense, weaving his way all the way down to the 5-6 yard line. We'll see where they spot this one. Javier Cruz with a beautiful play fake. Calling his own number on the design quarterback run. They'll spot this one at the 5. Falcons looking to extend their lead to 10. And another quarterback keeper, Cruz, diving for the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. He's in for a Falcon touchdown. You can put it on the board. Twenty-three fourteen. Falcons extend their lead to nine. Extra point coming up. Snaps there. Kicks away. It's up. And it is good. So the Los Fresnos Falcons go right down the field and extend their lead. They now lead 24 to 14 over the visiting Chargers. Chargers will be getting the football back. You're listening to ValleyCentral.com. After the Falcon touchdown, they extend their lead to 10, 24-14, 6-57. In the third quarter, Falcons kicking this one off, high kick. Football's put on the ground. Chargers take over the 25 to the 26. And a rub rugby scrum there. So out come the Chargers. They trail by 10. Marcus Castillo and company looking to cut back into the lead. Ball on the 27. First and ten, Chargers. Three receivers set, two to the left, one to the right. Castillo out of the gun, one back to his right. And a handoff to the left side. That's Rodriguez on the carry. Josue Gasoria on the stop. He wears number 98. For the Falcons, second and eight after the pickup of two. Derek Rodriguez 
on the handoff right to the 30 yard line didn't get much there so this falcon defense really stepping up against the running attack from the chargers third down coming up for castillo Looking back to pass, this Castillo has time, fires, floater, passes up, and it's an incomplete pass to the far side of the field, so it'll bring up a fourth down. Decision time for the Chargers. Fourth and six coming up, Brandon Cologne back to receive this punt. So the momentum clearly with the Los Fresnos Falcons. Now they can break this game wide open. Line drive punt. And it'll be fielded or spotted at the 36 yard line. So the Falcon defense getting a Standing ovation from the Falcon faithful. Well deserved. Starting to really come together here in this third quarter. Falcons with the football looking to extend their lead. Gonna try and put this game away. Swing pass out to the right side. Complete down the sideline. Crossing midfield. 40-30. Next stop. Pater. Touchdown Falcons, and they've just blown this one open. In just one play, the Falcons extend their lead 30 to 14 here against the Chargers with 5.09 in the third quarter. Extra point coming up. Falcon fans have reason to be cheering as Okay, they're about to take their seats again. Now they're back up. And their Falcons have a 31-14 lead. 5.09 in the third quarter. How about that? An offensive explosion here from the Falcons. We're going to take a quick break. You're listening to ValleyCentral.com. Oh, welcome back. Kevin Dottle here bringing you the live play-by-play -play on ValleyCentral.com. I want to thank all the Los Fresnos fans for tuning in along with the Veterans Memorial fans as well. Well, if you're a Falcon fan, plenty to be pleased about. This third quarter solely belongs to you. The momentum is clearly with the home team. As they rack up 14 unanswered here in the third quarter. Now they lead 31-14 to on a big, big play on a simple swing pass that went all the way into the end zone. Now the Chargers have a very, very steep hill to climb. It's a high kickoff and a short one. Chargers will take it at the 20, field at the 25 to the 30. Break it into the secondary. He's got the kicker to beat. But all of a sudden the play stops. They're going to say that he called a fair catch. Oh, now a flag will come in at the last second. So 
Well, the penalty is going to go against the Chargers just when it looked like they were about to break it open on special teams. Penalty will go against them, so that will back them up. We'll call it a first and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. 5.06, third quarter. Chargers trail big here on the road. 31-14. Castillo out of the gun. Three receivers set. And looking back to pass. Has time. Fires deep over the middle and falls incomplete. No flags on the field. The intended receiver was Alfonso Vela. Clock stops at 5.01, second and 10. Looking back to pass is Castillo, looking to his left, tucks the football in, he's gonna tuck it and run, trying to break it to the outside and tripped up from behind. Frankie Alemanza on the tackle. Third and six coming up for the Chargers. They got to convert here to keep this drive going. Can't afford to punt the football back to the red hot offense of the Falcons. Looking back to pass is Castillo. Has time. Fires. Low pass. Pass falls complete. Just enough for a Falcon for a uh, charger first down. Derek Rodriguez on the tail end of that reception. Just enough to pick up the first down. Four minutes in the third quarter. Castillo with a handoff to Derek Rodriguez. That'll be a pickup of one, so the scoreboard will indicate a second and nine. Ball on the 35. Update to you on some scores from around the valley. West Laco East, 35. McAllen Memorial, 34. And a shovel pass. That's to Ray Garza trying to bounce it to the outside. And he's shoved out of bounds. Alegria with a fine tackle on the far side of the field. Remember to follow Action for Sports on Twitter at Action for Sports for live updates for all your teams across the valley or for your favorite high school team at action for sports Castillo looking back to pass steps up in the pocket and down he goes pass falls complete how did he do it we don't know completed to Alfonso Vela Danny Ramirez was a man who shove him out of bounds not enough for the first down, so the Chargers will be punting this one away. It'll be a fourth and two. They'll be going from right to left. Ball's on the 37. Falcons will get away from this one, and it takes a generous Charger roll. Looks like they'll spot this one at the 15-yard line. So the defense of the Falcons really taking over in this third quarter here in Los Fresnos. Santa Rosa 27, San Diego 8. An updated score. 
Calum Memorial in Westlaco East and an old-fashioned barn burner. Cruz looking back to pass is going to decide to call his own number to the 20-yard line. That'll be a pickup of five. Two minutes in the third quarter and a, a rather quick third quarter. And with a nice run there from Eli Cruz weaving his way through the teeth of the f Charger defense. Malozzi on the tackle. He's been all over the field defensively for the Chargers. A buck 52, third quarter. Falcons with the lead, 31-14. First and 10, ball on the 32. Four receivers set. Cruz out of the gun, handoff to Eli Cruz this time up to the right hash and to the 39-yard line. Second and five coming up for the Falcons offense. He'll stick to the ground. And a quarterback keeper this time up to the right side. And that's Cruz picking up another Falcon. First down. Clock will stop at a minute. Ten seconds with the first down. And the Falcons are really starting to take over as Joey Bada was the man on the tackle. Little by little, this Falcon offense is starting to pick its way through this Charger defense. Then on the other side of the football, the Falcon defense is really stepping up big against Marcus Castillo and company. Four receivers set for the Falcons. Two to the left, two to the right. Motion man is Cruz and a design quarterback run and a big hole up the middle and then a big hit from Malzoni and Ricardo Carlos. First time we say his name all Tonight, Carlos had himself a fine ball game last week. Final 30 seconds of this third quarter here in Los Fresnos. Second and one coming up. Play clock to 14. Game clock's at 24. Out of the gun is Cruz. Four receivers set. Hand off to the, to the right hash, looking to bounce it to the outside as Eli Cruz and Matt at the 39-yard line. Picks up the first down. Alzoni. Again on the tackle for the Chargers. Clock stops at 15 seconds. And that should bring us to the end of the third quarter here in Los Fresnos. And the Falcons in no hurry to get this snap off. So at the end of the third, the Falcons lead the Chargers 31-14. You're tuning in to ValleyCentral.com. Fourth quarter action just moments away. Welcome back to the fourth quarter action. Los Fresnos on the brink of clinching another playoff spot. First and ten. Falcons with the football. They have a 31-14 lead and looking for more against the Chargers from Brownsville, Texas. Another quarterback keeper in a big hole right up the middle. He can't go. Touchdown, Falcons. Plenty of real estate in front of them. 39 yards counted. Falcons touchdown. 
First play of the fourth quarter. The Falcons have really broken it open here in front of their home crowd. And it looks like the Falcons will be headed to the 2013 playoffs if they're able to hold on here and get this victory against the Chargers. Extra point is up and it is good. Falcons 38, Chargers 14. We're going to take a quick break from up here in the press box. You're listening to ValleyCentral.com. Welcome back to the action with the Falcons really pouring it on here against the Chargers. 38-14 is the score. 11-51 remaining in the ball game. Donna North 26, Harlingen MMA 7. That's a final score. Annenberg North still leads 20-7. Sherryland 63, La Jolla Palmview nothing. Chargers taking this one out across to the 31 to the 33 yard line. Fourth quarter action. PSJ Bears 21, San Benito 10. That PSJ Bear defense stepping up big. Under their first year head coach, Steve Marroquin. We got to see those PSJ Bears here at Los Fresnos. Earlier in the year, the Bears coming into this into that game. Huge underdogs on the road against these Falcons. The Bears walked away with a thrilling 33-28 win. Matthew Rodriguez and company really stepped up defensively for the Bears. Castillo, quick pass. Complete flags come flying in, then he's swarmed by a flock of Falcons. Ray Garza was on the reception. It's going to be a personal foul, a chop block. This one's going to go against the Chargers. That'll be a 15-yard penalty, so now the... Chargers and a deep hole here as we take a look at the standings as Harlingen South again 6-0. Harlingen 6-0 as well. Now Veterans Memorial were to drop this game. They'd fall to 3-4. And, and I'm not too sure if I could get a score on the Hannah game. If they were to win tonight, or rather if they were to win or lose, they would still be in possession of that fourth spot in the playoffs because Veterans Memorial would fall to 3-4. And if Hannah were to lose, they'd fall to 3-3 three and three and would still be in charge of that fourth spot. That passes up, and it's incomplete. Chargers going deep down the left hash. However, if Hannah were to win tonight, they'd improve to 4-2. and two. And if you're the Hannah Golden Eagles, you're scoreboard watching, and you're seeing that the Chargers are losing this football game. You want to get the win. Hannah would improve to 4-2 and two and would really separate themselves from the pack and look to clinch that last playoff spot in the 32-5A district. Castillo, pass completed to the 20 and drug down at the 19. So we'll 11 minutes in the fourth quarter. Ramirez. And Lopez on the tackle. It'll bring up a third and 22. So a long conversion here for the Chargers. Castillo taking his time. Heading to the line. Nine seconds on the play clock.
Three receivers to the left for the Chargers. It'll be a quarterback keeper for Castillo. Looking to bounce it to the outside. And doesn't get much there on the design quarterback run on third and long. Out comes the punting team for the Chargers. And it's final score. The PSJ Bears 27. San Benito 10. So now the Bears are looking to make a little playoff push of their own. So that's a final score. The Bears going on the road getting a win in San Benito. Chargers putting this one away. And it'll take a Charger roll and they'll down it. Down to the 33 yard line. So out comes the Los Frestos offense, who has been on fire this second half. And once again, this Falcon defense getting a curtain call. As the Falcon faithful, very pleased on what they've seen here. And the second half, all about adjustments. Things are getting a little bit interesting over in Edinburgh. We'll take a look at that score after this play. Cruz out of the gun. Three receivers to the right, one lone receiver to the left. Motion man is the other Cruz. And Eli Cruz looked to bounce this one to the outside. Joey Barra. One of the two chargers there to make the tackle. Edinburgh North 20, Robert Vela 14, 449 in the third quarter. So now Vela has scored the most points against Edinburgh North all year. Hand off to the right side, Eli Cruz with a big run. And he'll pick up another first down for the Falcons. So it's really interesting that Sherry Lett has their game well in hand. They'll stay unbeaten on the year. Now the Cougs are looking to remain unbeaten as well. But they have a tough task against the Sabercats. Looking back to pass as Cruz fires down the field. Has a man and overshoots him incomplete. Cologne was the intended wide receiver. Last night's game between Lopez and Harlingen and South. Joe and I talked in the pregame with Harlingen and South. Somehow overlooked the Lobos with Harlingen. Up next on their schedule. That wasn't the case. Jaden Taylor took care of business. As did Harlingen and South and Harlingen. Both teams remain unbeaten for next week's Bird Bowl. Going back to Enberg North. Did the Cougars overlook the Sabercats here tonight? And another quarterback keeper for Cruz, who's really carried this offense. Ball at midfield. It'll be a second and five. So again, that monster matchup next week between the Cougars and the Rattlers at Cat Stadium. That'll be on a Halloween night. Flags will come flying in on the quarterback keeper. And the following night from Bogus Stadium, Valley Central will be bringing you the Bird Bowl between Harlingen South and Harlingen. So back-to-back -back nights, valleycentral.com will be bringing you two big games in the Valley. And it will be a hold against the Falcons, so that will back them up. It will be a 10-yard penalty, making it a 2nd and 15. Ball on the 40-yard line. Eight thirty-one, final quarter. Falcons looking to wrap this one up. They lead the Chargers, thirty-eight, fourteen. And now Javier Cruz had to call a timeout. So the Falcons call their second time out of the half. We're going to take a quick break with the score. Falcons 38, Chargers 14. You're listening to ValleyCentral.com.
Welcome back to the fourth quarter action. Falcons with the football, and they want more. We have an updated score from Tiger Stadium. We'll get to that one in a minute. And the pocket just collapses in front of Javier Cruz, and he goes down for a coverage sack. That'll bring up a third and long. Edcal Chelsea 12, Mercedes 10. And a good football game between the Tigers and the Yellow Jackets. Big, big rivalry game. Both teams unbeaten in district play. Joe and myself got to cover that Ed Couch Elsa game and veteran or uh, mission uh, veterans, the Patriots, a couple weeks ago at Tom Landry Stadium. That quest, that big question mark in that game was whether Santos Villarreal will play or not. Did a pregame write-up on that game, knowing that Villarreal was going to be absent of that game. Then. On an hour before game time, Coach Gilpin said, yes, my quarterback is playing. As that punt rolls out of bounds, the Chargers will take over. And then, before you know it, Santos Villarreal is suited up, and he's ready to go for the for the Patriots. The Ed Cal Chelsea, though, Bruno Sines, the backup quarterback, led the way. Ed Cal Chelsea prevailed on the road at Tom Landry, and Joe and I said, well, the only hiccup, en route to a perfect season for the Jackets district wise would be against the Mercedes Tigers and an emotional game for the Tigers as Isaiah Garza is in attendance there for the Mercedes Tigers and they really solidified their team well ironically against the Patriots when they got that win on the road in that crazy shootout handoff right up the middle Derek Rodriguez carrying the football and an impressive carry there from Rodriguez. He'll pick up another a Charger first down. That Mercedes Patriots game was right up there for game of the year. Joe and I got to cover that one as well. And back and forth, the Tigers and Patriots wins. The Tigers prevailed on a last-second touchdown, winning 36 to 35 on the road. And that was really the turning point for the Tigers' season. They're in a dogfight with their rivals at Cal Chelsea. Meanwhile, here in Los Frestos, that passes up and a dangerous throw, but the Chargers come down with it. Port Isabel, 41. Hidalgo, nothing in that game. Also had some, some big hype going into it last season. The only team to take down the Portisville Tarpons was Hidalgo. That quick pass. Looking back to pass another time. And it falls complete to the 25-20-15. Little trickery there coming from the Chargers. Derek Rodriguez at the end of that reception. Jason Rafasi. Excuse me if I'm... Wrong on the last name. R-A-F-A-C is his last name. We're in the number 38. Senior safety for the Falcons. Chargers looking to cut into this lead. Castillo is going to call his own number. He's met back at the line of scrimmage. And a big stop there from the Falcon defense. Five minutes remaining in the ball game. A quick fourth quarter. Chargers with the football. Castillo running right back up the middle. So there is an injured player on the field. So we're going to take a quick break in the action we'll step aside you're tuning in to valleycentral.com
receiver, the receiver caught it and threw it to uh, number 11, Rodriguez, Jerry Rodriguez. Okay, so who was who I don't know. <laughs> Castillo threw it to the receiver. I don't know who that receiver was. Did you, did you catch it? I know it's Castillo. Don't know. Fans, welcome back to the action here after the injured player. And we have an updated score from Sam's Memorial Stadium. And this should be a treat for you Charger fans out there. We'll get to that score after this play. Castillo with the football. 5-12 in the football game. Firing towards the end zone. Marks up and complete. Zeke Marks was the intended wide receiver. Jordan Rojas broke up that potential touchdown pass at Sam Stadium. The Rivera Raiders, they lead the Hannah Eagles 28-14. to So that really shakes up this district playoff-wise. If Hannah were to lose, they were to fall to 3-3. Three and three, And Veterans Memorial would have fallen to 3-4. and four. So Veterans Memorial would still be well alive in the playoff race. But remember that Hannah did beat Memorial. So a lot to be hanging on their hats there. Timeout on the field called by the Chargers. So we just got this updated score. And it's just really interesting. Now, uh, earlier we were talking about if Hannah were just to take care of business against the Iveta, they would improve to 4-2. and two, And Vets Memorial would drop to 3-4. and four. Then really you can just paint the pretty picture and make it easy and say, okay, it's it'll be either Harlingen South, Harlingen, or vice versa, then Los Fresos, then Hannah. Now that Hannah's losing in the ball game in the third quarter to Rivera makes it a whole lot more interesting. So the Chargers, even though they were to lose tonight, would still be in the playoff picture for that fourth spot in the 32-5A district. So a lot to be played for unless the Hannah Eagles can string together some sort of comeback over at Sam Stadium. They'll be sitting pretty with a 4-2 record, but that's not the case. So hang tight, Charger fans. They are down, but not out. Shout out to Randy Football over at Edinburgh. Engineering for the Cougars and the Sabercats. Derek Rodriguez hauling in the touchdown for the Chargers. Make it 38 to 20, five minutes in the fourth quarter. Chargers find the end zone. So Derek Rodriguez hauls in the touchdown pass from Marcus Castillo. Well, an obvious call here from the Chargers. They'll be going for two to make it 38 22 going for two Castillo gonna call his own number looking to get into the end zone and does two-point conversion is good 38 22 Chargers trim the lead now the key for the Chargers here is defensively with the situation at hand two timeouts in their back pocket clock against them trail by two scores three and out get the football back Get into the end zone. Same song, different verse. Stop them again. Get into the end zone. Well, let's go ahead and take some baby steps here for the Chargers. Try and slow down this offense led by Javier Cruz and Eli Cruz. They've really put on a clinic here tonight. They're holding on to a 38-22 lead, 5-0-3 in the ball game. And once again, we all look forward to that 32-5A monster matchup between Harlingen South and Harlingen as 
Sean Montemayor scores off against Brandon Garza, two of the better quarterbacks in my opinion in all of the Valley. Jaden Taylor, the star running back from Harlingen South, and Stephen, Gar Stephen Gaska of the Harlingen Cardinals. That one will be brought to you live on valleycentral.com. Be sure to tune in. I'm sure Joe Bowling will be at that game. He and I will be doing the Edinburgh North Sherryland game, another big game. Let's see if the Cougars can hold on tonight against those surging Sabercats. It's Bobcats lost last night, 14 to 7, to the Edinburgh going to be the Jaguars. The Bobcats are officially eliminated from the playoffs. Falcons electing to take this one out at the 25. That's where they'll take over. See if they officially spot it. So the Jaguars. Clinching a playoff spot last night. They'll be the fourth team or the fourth seed in that district. Donna will claim the third spot. Then it's either Edinburgh North or Sherryland will take that second or first spot. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how things unfold less than a week away on Halloween night. 10 o'clock mark here in South Texas, Friday, October 25th. A crisp, cool night. By the Bay. Falcons with a run up to the right side with South Padre Island about 30 minutes away. Sure some of the Falcon fans will enjoy a weekend over at SPI after their Falcons. Looking to get a big win here tonight. So again, thanks for all the listeners tuning in, whether you're a Falcon or Charger fan or if you're just a high school fan wanting to tune into some football. Had a good one here tonight. Falcons looking to melt down the clock. Pick up of a couple of yards there. 13, Eli Cruz on the carry. Pedro Gonzalez on the tackle. Number 43 for the Chargers. 4-12 in the fourth quarter. Final score, Mack High remains unbeaten. They defeated Westlaco 26-21. to And a run to the left side and looking to pick up the first down. Looks like he got enough. So the Mack High Bulldogs, looks like they'll go ahead and walk away with a district title. As them, them and the Westlaco were the only unbeaten in district play. Westlaco suffers its first loss of the year. Edinburgh North leads 26 to 14. They scored, going for it on fourth down, led by Matt Whiteside to the Cougs, pulling away from the SaberCats. Cruz with a quarterback keeper of his own to the 37-yard line. Clock starting to wind down. Final three minutes, second down coming up. Port Isabel 41, Hidalgo nothing. That's a final score. Tarpins improved to 9-0 on the season. And will that at least claim a share of the 32? 3A title. Santa Maria, 43. Far Odery, nothing. PSJ Memorial, 15. PSJ North, 15. Zapata, 40. Lyford, 8. Cougars convert on the two-point conversion. They have a 28-14 lead. As Randy Navarro tweets the Edinburgh action and a big run down the right sideline for the Falcons and they're continuing to pour it onto this Charger defense. It's been very impressive. In the fourth quarter, Mission Eagles lead veterans 30-14. to 14, So question marks start to loom for Coach Gilpin's team. Will they make the playoffs? Will they not? Sherry Land, 63. Palm View, nothing. That's a final score. The Rattlers improved to 8-0 and on the year. Meanwhile, the Lobos fall to 0-8 on the year. So it's all shaping up to a pair of unbeatens next week and a brutal score. Harland in 73, Brownsville Porter nothing. And things continue to go south for the Porter Cowboys. So we can go ahead and go on the record here and it will be the unbeaten Hawks against the unbeaten Cardinals. Next week's Bird Bowl, it's now official. 251, fourth quarter, motion man, right to left, looking back to pass. Going to tuck it and run is Javier Cruz with a nice move. And a broken play. 
Takes it all the way to the 49-yard line and a dandy of a play from Javier Cruz. You can slap him with an MVP award for this game. He has been magnificent. Like they say, big players make big plays and big games. So with the district starting to shape up, still going to wait to score on that Hannah game. Last update we heard they trailed the Rivera 28-14 at good old Sam's. 224 in the ball game. Falcons with a 38-22 lead. And they'll fake the pass. Flags will come flying in at midfield. We're going to see what the call is. And the penalty will go against the Falcons. So that penalty will back them up. Call it a first and 20. And the clock will start running. We have an updated score from Sam Stadium. A buck 48 and flags will come in as the football is on the ground. So things are getting really interesting now. Rivera Raiders 35, Hannah Eagles 21. They're in the fourth quarter. Now I'm looking at the standings again. If Rivera were to hold on and win, it would improve to 3-4. and four. They would leapfrog Lopez. And if Veterans Memorial were to lose... They would also, they would both be three and four, and Hannah would be three and three. So then you'd get the Rivera Raiders and the Chargers still alive in that playoff picture. So things are becoming really interesting now. As both Harlingen South and Harlingen improved to six and zero oh on the year in district, out of the gun is Screws. Four receivers set. Going to call his own number here. Stuff right back at the line of scrimmage. If anything, he lost half a yard. So we're about to wrap up things here. The Falcons will walk away with a victory. They'll be 5-1 and one on the year in district play. What's next for the Los Fresnos Falcons? They'll have a date with Brownsville Porter next week. Then they'll take on Harlingen South. That should be a very interesting game. So if you can win one out of the last two, you can secure a playoff spot. This one here, they'll be a 5-1 and one record looking at the standings. They'll have clinched a playoff berth, at least for the third spot. So in the final seconds of this one, the Los Fresnos Falcons will be taking on the Porter Cowboys. Meanwhile, Veterans Memorial. Well, they're going to have to start to string together a couple of wins. Tough loss last week against the Harlingen Cardinals. That was a 20-3 loss. And they come on the road and really played well in that second quarter. The Falcons really just turned it on defensively, slowing down Marcus Castillo, only allowing eight points in the second half. Then offensively for the Falcons, it all started and ended with Javier Cruz really opening up the playbook. For his head coach, Clint Finley. Well, Coach Finley's going to be a happy man. His team will improve to 5-1 and one and will be headed to the 2013-32-5A playoffs. So a congratulations to the Los Fresnos Falcons. They'll be facing a third and 27. Quick pass to Alegria. Stay in bounds. And he did. And then they'll run the clock. Final 20 seconds. It'll stop at 25.
So an updated score, 28-14. As the PA announcement just tuned throughout the stadium, so that means <laughs> well, fans are going to have to just go ahead and dial up this one yourselves. You just look at the standings and figure out who will get that fourth, fourth spot in the playoffs. If you ask me, I'd have to go with the Hatta Eagles. They have the upper hand. They did defeat Veterans Memorial. If they lose tonight, they'll again fall to 3-3. Three and three. Veterans Memorial will fall to 3-4. and four. Lopez gets the wins. They'll be 3-4. and four. But then again, Veterans Memorial did defeat Rivera early on in the year. So, fans, once again, I want to thank all of you for tuning in. Falcon fans, Charger fans. It's a great ball game here in Los Fresnos, Texas on a 32-5A matchup on a Friday night. Falcons looking to wrap this one up and playoffs will be on their minds. So those of you that are very familiar with the 32-5A district again, the, uh, you'll be excited to tune in next week to Catch an all-out war at Bogus Stadium. Meanwhile, the Cougs and the Rattlers will be taking on each other on Halloween night. Both games will be on ValleyCentral.com. I believe three games will be in action next Thursday. Live video and audio. That's the best part about the Thursday games. You get the video and uh, on the audio. And this one will take an eagle roll. 25 to the 26, 27 yard line. 15 seconds left in this ball game. Just about to wrap this one up. Here in Los Fresnos as the Falcons take care of business here at home against a young but very good Charger team. I really like what I've seen in this Charger team. Got to follow them throughout the year. Got to see them play their first game against the Port Isabel Tarpons. And Marcus Castillo really opened up some eyes. And last week against the Cardinals, you, you could tell that the Chargers really missed Castillo in their offense. Now their, their playbook was very limited as they'll take the highway back home to Brownsville. Looking back to pass is Castillo. Steps up in the pocket, fires. That pass falls in complete. 11.1 seconds left on the game clock. So the Falcon faithful will line up along the fence to applaud their nephews, sons, grandsons, brothers, cousins after a job well done. Same goes on the other side, the visiting Chargers. Some of the fans electing to take the early exit. Ray Garza with a completion and clocks down to 3-2. And that's the final score here in Los Frestos. The Falcons prevail 38-22 to against the Chargers of Brownsville Memorial. This has been a presentation of ValleyCentral.com. Fans, I'm Kevin Otto. With a great game here, the Falcons improve to 5-1 and one in district play, and they'll be headed to the 32-5A playoffs. Meanwhile, the veterans Chargers looking to stay alive in the playoff picture. They dropped to 3-4 and four on the year. So once again, the final score from here in Los Fresnos, Falcons 38, Chargers 22. I'm Kevin Otto saying so long and good night from Los Fresnos.